Repealing Obamacare was one of the issues that helped get Donald Trump elected. Congress, including Republican John McCain, has resisted him every step of the way. But now our president is using one of Obama's strategies against his namesake program. Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. I know what some of you are thinking. Why was it wrong for Obama to sign executive orders to work around Congress, but now it's commendable for Donald Trump to do the same? That's a good question. Here's the answer. Barack Obama used executive orders to expand the powers of the presidency beyond constitutional limits. He's done it over and over again, ad nauseum. Donald Trump is using an executive order to return powers to Congress that the president should not have ever had. Let me explain. Section 1402 of the Affordable Care Act directs insurance companies to offer deductibles and co-payments at artificially low levels in exchange for government subsidies. But here's the catch. Congress has never made the actual specific appropriations as the Constitution requires of any expenditure. Yet the Treasury Department, under the President, has made the payments anyway. Donald Trump is merely saying, I'm putting an end to this. The insurance companies will be out billions of dollars. Too bad. They should never have counted on illegal payments. President Trump is also making it easier for small businesses to band together so they can offer insurance benefits typically available from larger employers. And they can do this across state lines, bypassing the state exchanges, which are dwindling in number because they don't work. And let's consider this. Many of the details of Obamacare are contained in bureaucratic regulations, not the legislation itself. As head of the executive branch, President Trump can, if you pardon the pun, trump the existing regulations. Is this a perfect solution? Hardly. Since the Constitution does not mention health care as a delegated power of the federal government, the Tenth Amendment reserves it for the states or the people. Personally, I prefer this one to be left entirely to the people because I am no fan of socialized medicine. You can understand why I will never run for public office. I am not willing to compromise. But I am enough of a realist to understand that it takes time to change the course of a big ship. For government, reforms typically happen little by little. In case you think I idolize President Trump, I do not. I don't agree with everything he is doing or has done but I do believe he's accomplished more for America in the last nine months than all the other presidents put together in the last 100 years. May he continue to look to God for guidance. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. 